Hello everybody. I would like to share a trail by trail layout that I did of my husband and I. This is the first trail by trail layout I've ever did, so um, it's not all that great, but it was it was good enough. But um, I started out using the um, the French Country Stack by DCWB, and um, they have some really pretty paper in there. And uh, the front, this is in the background right here. This frame, I bought this at um, Michael's, and it was just a wooden frame, and I put um, some Martha Stewart green satin paint on it first, and then I put the crackle medium on it, and over the top of that I put the um, vintage white paint over it to give it a little bit of the crackle, and then like in the corners up here, I just put some uh, rub and buff and just try to give it that vintage look, kind of. But um, I'll just start up here at the top. These are some, I don't know how this is going to work here. But these right here are some Recollections um, corners that I bought. And it comes with this little window frame and this little corner down here in the bottom that all comes together. And this is some lace that I have um, that I bought at Hobby Lobby. And I just put the little recollection pearls over the top of that on each side. And right here is some bows. Those are Martha Stewart bow ties. And put those on each side. And they have the little uh, recollections, black back pearls in those as well. And then this little banner right here, um, it came from the MFT um, die. And I just stamped um, S-I-M-S for our last name with a little stamp set that I have. And these little roses um, were just some little rose buttons that I cut off the back. And adhere those right here. And all of these flowers that, that are on here were either made from a flower punch that I have or cut out on my Cricut machine. Except for the ones that are right here. And these are I Am Roses, little rosebuds. And this one right here, which is a uh, gardenia from I Am Roses. And this gardenia was white. And I'll use some um, of the Perfect Pearl Mist. This says it's interference red, but it's um, a pink color. But I spray that on the gardenia here. And then these little green flowers right here are just some Recollections flowers that comes in the little jars that you can buy at Michael's. But the rest of these flowers, like I said, are just some flowers that I punched out on my, uh, either on my Cricut or either on a little punch that I have. And this little spray right here is just came from the wedding section of Michael's, as well as these two little dollies. Um, I think I got those at Joann's, and I just cut those in half and put one on each side. And then this right here is the Martha Stewart leaf punch that I have here, here, and in several different places on here. And this little bird right here is just a stamp, and I cut him out and put some white embossing powder on that, as well as this. This is a stamp that I have. And this is a stamp right here of a chandelier, and all that's in just some white embossing powder. And all these little laces and trims, they just uh, either come from Hobby Lobby or I just had them in my stash. I'm not exactly sure where I got all those from. But um, I thought it turned out really cute. Um, here's also some Martha Stewart little butterflies right here. And um, some more uh, iridescent pearl bling right in here. But um, I also put the, the white paint like on the edges of these flowers right here. This one has some pink on it, on the edges, and this one has the white as well, as well as these up here. But, um, I thought it turned out really cute. Let me see if I can pick it up and give you a little bit closer update of it. But, um, if y'all have any questions, just, uh, let me know, and I'll be glad to, to answer any of them best I can. But, um... Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. I have some more projects that I'm going to be sharing pretty soon. Um, I have some Mother Day, Mother's Day cards that I'm going to share, but um, I'll probably be making that video a little later on this afternoon, so if you're interested in watching it, just stay tuned. 
And like I said, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, I thank everybody for watching and leaving me all the sweet comments and everything. I haven't been, you know, doing scrapbooking very long, so I really appreciate everything y'all done and said and all the new subscribers that I have. And I just hope y'all have a great Mother's Day and a great weekend, and I'll talk with y'all guys later. Bye-bye.